Well, yeah, I can imagine you would be the first person to fail art. My brain's fried, okay? I'm painting robotic lovebirds to replace them with the real ones that are somehow related to the production of cookies that are like cocaine. You smell that? I think I smell dark cider scum that needs to be put away. And what better man for the job than one Detective McQueen in the Dark Side Detective, a fumble in the dark. The sequel to the Dark Side Detective, a game I have an entire playlist on, including some of the extras. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Narc mode? Snitch mode activated. On, but we're telling you it's off. Stuffing off this time to he. Look, those targeted adverts are coincidence. <laughs> to turn it off, just enter your bank pin. Oh, already. So you better than normal. Oh my god, I know how to play. Now, because I have a feeling that it is going to be somewhat consequential um, to the game in general. If you do not remember, at the end of the last episode, at the end of one of the at the end of one of the bonus episodes, so I'm not exactly sure if it was like canon or just end of a bonus episode, uh, Dooley had made a wish that he didn't want to have to go back to work. And a genie granted that wish. Uh, only that meant he got sent to the dark side. So, missing, presumed dark side, may have something to do with that. I gotta, I gotta find Dooley. Yep. Oh, he is dark side. Missing, presumed dark side. Case one. I thought that might be how we start this off. How the sweet juice are we gonna find that man, though? Last time I saw him, I think the, uh, Cthulhu got a hold of him. Previously on the Dark Side Detective. It's been one year since my partner, Officer Dooley, went missing from the motel. Holy crap, what do you mean a year? He went Dark Side, you idiot! Oh yeah. Dooley? Dooley? I have an idea where he's ended up. Oh no. So I've been chasing up on old leads. Hey. So I guess this is gonna have spoilers for the first game. The portal here is still locked down. Uh, Dooley, where are you? I guess she made some good use of that extra closet space. And started chasing new leads too. Hey, we're back. Aren't you just a bit of a flame? Have you seen this man? Sorry, it's hard to say, see anything through all this smoke. Yeah, you are smoking. Oh, um, are you in there, Dooley? I'm running out of official avenues to pursue, so I've... Oh! Taking some time off to search on my own. Holy crap, what? So I'm asking for your help. Maybe you've seen something that will help me find my friend. Maybe you have a strange glow in your back garden. Maybe there's an old, an odd energy in your workplace. Or perhaps food has been going missing from your fridge. That's just me. Anything at all, just reach out to me via the station, please. I need your help, Twin Lakes. That's some heartfelt pleading. And now the TLTV, we have a squirrel who can count. Twin Lakes, you useless twits. Get off the stage. What the sweet. And now on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, a squirrel who's just nuts about numbers. Holy crap, we're back in it. I know you're lonely, but hands off, cowboy. This is a Mac, a duster. 
<laughs> nah, I'm just saying you're dressed like a cowboy. I'm just calling you one. Like a clown or a fool, only nicer, except now I now they've explained it, it's not so nice. Oh well. But yeah, keep those gunslinging hands to yourself. Again, not a cowboy. I know cop. Sorry to hear about Dooley. I oh, did some really sad music over the piece. Um, pull on the pull on the hard strings. You have cranks calling you about all sorts of weird stuff in no time. It's very much a mixed blessing. Yeah. Hey Rexy. How was it? It went well. Damn. We really can't find Dooley? Hell, we even went dark side and we still couldn't find him. Come on, let's go. Did you I have to wonder, did you think to ask McScream or Dooley's dark side version whether or not they've seen him? You can't fire me. I can, and I have. You were such a good psychic, you didn't know not to come into work today. Get out of here. Yikes. Go away, no stairs here. I downsized the staff into one room so I could have a night in suites. Lovely. The campaign looks like they're refreshing in the not this room. Knock knock. Nobody's there. Hmm. Lights on. I guess I can't enter. Fire extinguisher. Case of fire burn. Yeah, that's most things around here. Sup? Detective, there you are. Hello? Wondering how I know your name? Did we ever address that? Is your first name Detective? That's not my name. I said job. I, I was just on the show. Because I met her. Madam Lake. Le Ligma. L Lima? Lima. Twin Lakes finest psychic. A skeptic, I see. Try this on for size. I know you're searching for somebody. Your partner, par uh, Peter Donnelly? <laughs> His name's Patrick Dooley. That's what I said. And again, I was just on the show. Fine, I saw your plea on TV in my boss's office, but I am a psychic and I can't help. I know a place that lets people contact the other side. I can go to the other side. I know two detectives over there. He's not dead. No, the other other side. Okay, what is this place? I can't tell you. I have to bring you. Let's go then. We can't. We can't. We can't. Not yet. My stuff is still locked up inside the storage room. Okay, let's go. Get in. Go. I uh have my key in my in the dressing room, and I can't go in there. My replacement is here already. Embarrassing, right? Oh, I tell you what, you get my stuff and I'll meet you out by your... Hold on, I'm getting a vision. Seeing a police car? Technically, yes, unless we've blown it up. Well, obviously, I'm a police off. Super, see you there, with my bag. Ciao. Oh, I want to dropkick her immediately. And what do you mean the other, other side? The dark side? We can go to the dark side. I've gone to the dark side. I have contacts in the dark side. Like, what are you on about? Sup? No, oh, I thought we were meeting outside. Huh? A moment ago, we, when we spoke, you said, This is a different person, detective. No wonder we haven't found Dooley. Oh, 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 yeah. They write to me for advice, my fans. I don't reply, of course. Never work for free. That's kind of crappy. Aren't they divine, my fans? The ball heads. They'd kill for my me. Even had a vision of one doing so once. Can't get this person's name and address. Can I get this person's name and address, please? Are we that kind of detective? That's me and my and my ball heads last year's Saikon. Wait, what was that last line? I signed so many balls that day. I'm sure. <laughs> oh. I love this game. This centerpiece of my psychic arsenal. Sure, people want their cards red, but they want to see a crystal ball. Crystals. The crystal is melalite. It helps people with a sense of fashion. Actually, you should take it. Uh, oh, you did not just insult the trench coat. Can I have that? 
That must be the lockbox key that Meg mentioned. Hands off, that's for employees only. And it's... Of course. Flowers, the station manager to welcome me to a new job. Welcome new employee. It's a personal touch I appreciate. I'm mm, sure. Ooh. Ooh, look good. Oh, uh, don't mind if I do? What the sweet Jesus is that? Wind instruments. Okay, can I turn the lights off? No, I can go to the corridor though. Get into the shot that shows these Hollywood big shots that you're the man to call for any squirrel related blockbusters. Uptown Squirrel, Gun Squirrel, The Squirrel with the Dragon Tattoo, Mean Squirrel. <laughs> so many references. I would go on, but I'm talking to myself and I should be focusing on the shot. Oh, I'll just give him a moment to wrap things up here. Damn it, Squirrel, do your thing. How am I meant to get that gun shot if you won't do your thing? Guess if I want to get into storage room, I'm going to have to help that squirrel. Is this what a normal day is like for you? Yes, it is. You realize why I'm partially insane now? Pretty much. Poor guy. Poor guy is pointing at his mouth and rubbing his belly. Is he miming the answer? I don't understand. What number is that? Two? You idiots. What, what am I doing here? You're on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, Twin Lakes, premiere and only live morning talk show. This is the weirdest first day I've ever been on. <laughs> Date? What? You brought your mathematical squirrel to us to highlight his numerals, numer numerical skills on almost more or less live TV. I met the squirrel through the classified ads. I, I thought he was a person. What? Okay, uh, McQueen, are we allowed to arrest people for bestiality? Sorry, do you think these are made out of real stardust? You know, that's unlikely, right? I've met the Loch Ness Monster and I've been taken into space by aliens and had a genie kidnap my friend. Anything is possible, Roxy. I'm still taking it. Hey, reception. Guy anything, sir? Oh, you're new. Yeah, the last... Oh, you. Aren't you... Wait, aren't, aren't you the detective? No? No, I don't think that was her. Yeah, the last guy got possessed. Really worked out for him, though. The ghost has gotten him promoted to regional manager. Okay. Do you want to sign for this delivery? I'd rather give you my number than my signature. I can kind of agree. I want to play around in her box. <laughs> That's no use. I need. Oh, wait. That was a flirt, wasn't it? It was. Oh, how novel. Like I said, I get one of these a year. Why is she already in my car? The Blood Wolves? What are you doing here? We saw you on TV. We're here to do a help. How did it go? Well, it certainly went. I can say that much. Who's laying in the car? You kidnap kidnapping her? Why? Why is that what you go to? Kidnapping? Do I kidnap? No, I've never kidnapped anyone think for interrogate interrogation can i waterboard her emily oh love emily just stop please stop bouncing on my car it's not a bed she's a psychic she says she can help me find dooley i just have to get some stuff for her can i still waterboard her when i'm done with her sweetie then you can she's right there just sitting in the car just carrying on as if that's normal. Entirely ignoring the kid jumping on the roof. Which would have made it getting in really difficult. This is going to be some day. Some day indeed. Watch him with it. Okay, no. Uh, shove it up his butt. Okay, no. Can I do any of those things to the camera? 
Oh, enjoy your delivery. Oh, the quotes on the box. Box addressed to Miss Mitsui. There's an interesting clicking from inside, but it's taped too tightly to check its contents. Uh, what about this? Hmm, it's a federal offense to open somebody else's mail. Just as well, you don't work for the FBI then, right? Bear. Glass bowls? Collection of fish bowls. What the hell am I gonna do? Well, these look just like what my fans wear. Why, I didn't think you were fans yourself if you were, weren't so old. I'm not old. So very old. You're, you're, I'm younger than you. Sorry, I can't hear your ancient and broken old people voices. I'm surprised dust didn't shoot out as you spoke. Lady, I got a gun. We, I, I don't give a damn how old I am. I can still shoot your fucking brains out. Oh, you know what? Too old. I have three bulls. And I have three little chitlins out here. Blood wolves, a symbol. Right here. Ahem. Good. Okay. Who wants to earn the... The espionage badge? All of us, obviously. I need you to put these on your heads, go in there, and pretend to be a type of fan called a ball head to lure out their new psychic. Insist on seeing her, say you want autographs or something, just get her there and don't let her leave, you understand? Probably. Oh dear god, what have I unleashed? Box of nuts? Hey, okay. That's what we need to get the squirrel going. We can go get the key. We're here to see the queen or something! She cures bald heads! Oh god. No guys, we're bald heads. Estik meh. You're a teenager, and yet you're still going along with this. Can we see her, please? We want her to sign our stupid heads. Uh, 100% no, not gonna happen. My fans, I adore my fans. That's not what you said earlier. Okay, sneaking past, she can be busy signing balls. And I... Gonna be busy snagging up some keys. Bet she didn't see this coming. Lockbox key, okay. Now we need to solve the squirrel's issue, which is gonna involve shoving some nuts in its mouth, like that one I think was planned on doing. You can't go on stage, yet. Yeah, yeah, dear 15 minutes of fame. I need to find a way to get these nuts a s squirrel. What this? These nuts fit fits perfectly. I might not be able to play this thing, but I sure can use it like an oversized blow gun. Um, nut cannon. I'm pretty sure we just call that the shaft. Here goes nut. Oh, God. Thank you, Rexa. Hmm. What do we eat, nut? So, what? 8 minus 3? Correct. Did you get that, Merv? Got it. About time, that's us for today then, folks. This has been Dick Brickman, Morning Glory. There's a euthanism there. Getting you up to start your day. There's also a euthanism. And we're wrapped. So let's clear stage. There we go. Touch a camera on once. And stop me from touching now, are you, Marv? What are you doing to that innocent camera? I'll do whatever pervy shit I want to this camera. I'm gonna shove my freaking USB Type C up its USB Type A. See how that works for it. Nothing. Is there a camera here if you want to touch it? No thanks. I've had my fun. Sure. I am most certainly sure you wanna watch me touch another camera, don't you? Weirdo. Got the lockbox. Right. What's in here? Hmm. Looks like a bag. I guess that's what you wanted. Received go bag. You've no more secrets left, do you, Box? Don't think so. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's see what this idiot knows. Here you go. Oh, super. Now let's get out of here quickly. Uh, how quick does this car go? What are we supposed to be watching the kids? Hmm. Needs some work, doesn't it? I'm 
Okay, so where are we going? Look, I know you think that all this supernatural kind of stuff is nonsense. I am literally, or I literally was a supernatural detective. I know the supernatural is real. And some of it is, uh, some of it's pre presentation, showmanship. But Twin Lakes is special. I know you won't believe me, but there's other stuff going on here. Me and Rex at the same time? Anyway, there's a place of, <laughs> there's a place some of us know let, that lets us harness the power to talk to people on the other side. And this place, it can help me get Dewey back. All I can do is help you find him. You'll have to bring him back by yourself. I can do that, I just need to know where he is first. I guess so. Darkseid's probably pretty big. We know where he ended up, but there's no telling what took him. This is it, the switchboard. The what? Hmm. It didn't have as many demolition and progress signs last time I was here. Damn it. That doesn't bode well. Oh, yeah, that's just brilliant. Locked. Sport entrance. You shouldn't be here. Three of you and not a hard hat inside. What would what would you do if a grinder fell on your head right now? What the hell would a gr Ginder? Ginder? What the hell are you saying? Did you sue the city? That's what you think Twin Lates can afford a lawsuit? It can't even afford lawyers. You should see the clowns in the legal department. So destroying this place? Oh yeah, I come down today, crash, bang to the earth in a terrible destruction fashion. Hey, don't mind saying it's gonna look pretty damn cool. It's found me. Whoa, hands off! You're not authorized to touch this stuff. I'm going to have a cl I have to clear this place out if I want to examine the switchboard. Why can we remove you? Why is this place being demolished? Obsolete technology, I guess. Word came from on high to tear it down, so we're tearing it down. Okay, place doesn't look like it's gonna be staying for much longer. Ah, no kidding. Hmm. Any idea? You see a lot of wandering, wandering the city in your future. So I'm just gonna wait here and make sure they don't tear this place down until you're done. Oh, lovely. Hey! I've seen you before and that was a ghost! An eye for detail. You spotted what Gary was up to on top of the switchboard roof. That was a ghost! Uh, what was that? What was- what were what? The receiving disc scoops up all the noises in the area and Praise them into calls and secret messages. Lovely Gary. Were you talking to a ghost? Ah, ghost? Ha, ah, pull another one on ya. Another one. A ghost this guy. Ah. Gary, you were talking to a ghost. Oh, man. Have that? Oi, you can't have me tools. I need them for my work. Kick your work up your ass. The broadcasting antenna blinks it out a signal in Morse code. A science person, I can attest to the correctness of this technology. Did you see that? There was definitely a ghost activity. I'm not the only one. I feel strange energy up here. No kidding. Just police tape. Crime scene tape. Oi, keep your hands up. Ah. It's locked. Ooh, by the power invested in me, I declare this site off limits. I franchised in interspokers to solve mysteries my way, but all this abuse of police power makes me think I'd go a, it'd go a whole lot easier if I joined the force. <laughs> hey, police brutality is one hell of a way to get the ghost talking. There we go. Everybody out. I guess it's time for tea. I'll get the kettle on. How you doing, Gary? Was that Gale, the ghost from the light? Good to see you again, detective. What's the got to? Uh, what's crime got you to place all up? Oh, uh, the death of talk, uh, telecommunications. See, we both got secrets to keep. Clearly. Okay. This device is the best they seem to have. To it, but they seem to have torn it apart. The wires are gone. They're needing to make the connections between the world and a lot. There should be a dark side phone book so we sh know who to call. Without a transceiver, you're, you've no way to send or receive a message. Without all the missing pieces, there's no way to reach your friend. 
Can you tell me where to find them? Ah, look, you're pushing your luck, mate. Go do something, some detecting. Ooh, lady, you're testing me. I'm the name machine. Do was here, he'd want to know if there was anything edible in this. Um, yum, nope, yum. Lady, you got issues. Okay, what about the tools? Just a bunch of tools. Owen, oh, what's this? Sketchy what? Address? Oh, I hate so you written address down one of the eyes. Wonder what this connects with. Ooh, linked with first. Uh, maybe ask him? Gary? Oh, uh, that's where I get to dry clean done. Hmm. Sure, can we go there now? Can go in the office? Hey, and go in here. I like it. It's cozy. Just a little bit. That tea is so strong it has some... <laughs> has stained some bromine rings onto the table. That's nothing. Gary once stained a tear off onto some artificial plant... Architectural plans and summoned an angel. Have you ever tried to get a safety hat onto an angel? They're all eyes and wings and spinning rings. Hats don't come in those sizes. Not... Usually, kettle, a water steamer, I'd offer you a cup of coffee, but I made tea, which you can also can't have. Don't know it myself, but Gary had to drop something off there the other day. Hmm. Seeing you've already stripped some of the materials from here, we need to trace that stuff for the investigation. Do you have a record of where it is gone? Sure, I have a manifest of what's been taken where, and we sent it on- we sent it on to. Oh, just ask. Don't ask. Oh. We're bitten by City Road, probably more than- it Says the book was sent to an auction house for resale, the wires seem to have been scrapped. The transceivers listed has been scratched out, I wonder where it went. Oh, lovely. Transceiver end up, I should, I should address that issue right away. Address that issue. It seems you have a clue about a missing item and an address on you. What these two? wonder if the items scratch out the manifest can be found at this mysterious address. Only one way to find out, let's mark it on the map. Well, that's all it's that. Oh, son of a bitch. So where to begin? Junkyard first. Beware the and then dogs are scratched out and they've ridden in animals? I've got a good feeling about that. Yeah. Not again. What the hell happened to your in this time? No, no, long go back again to smell you to pocket. No, no, like. These guys. I thought they were locked away. No, are these gremlins, like, for real, as in everything they touch breaks? That's them. Do we and I locked them away safely in a magic urn in the station? Though, not sure how they got here. Crap. Hello. Stay away, stinky fingers. Gramps, no one in pants again. Oh. Not like that. Would it help any if I said he was unconscious at the time? No, it doesn't! McQueen! Trying to spoil food. Familiar looking box. Yeah, a bunch of that's familiar. This the box is labeled Dork Side Trash? It is the box my stuff McKean must have thrown our case files out when the division was closed down. That might explain why the gremlins came to be here. You fucking morons. Machinery. Look, there are the wires. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. I need those. Oh no, they're gonna get crushed. We need to stop this machine. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I can't hear you over the pistons repressuring for my next crush. Damn it, we don't have much time. We need to get this machine offline fast. Uh, if I ever, if I, 
have to find a needle and a haystack. I know where I might bring the haystack. Portable haystack? Come on, that would be the weirdest... That can't be the weirdest concept than... Weirder concept than gremlins and portals to a spooky other world. It's locked. Boys only! I'll show you employees only. Broken bit of pillar. There they are. Can't reach them through the fence. This looks functional. Maybe, how do we save it? Not saving the TV. Machine seems to be right. Pressure ain't seen its pistons to go again. We need to find a way to break the crusher before it flattens wires. How are we gonna break something that size? I don't know, but this is a junkyard. There's gotta be something around here we can use. Maybe like a bunch of gremlins? Been to switchboard, been to junkyard, TV station's done. Let's go check out the Pier 13. Holy bear. Freddy? Is this what you did after uh, Fazbear's closed down? I see why somebody would have a hidden address for this place. Probably to do with the secret black market that- You knew? Oh god, Dunny's back. The what now? Me, Mark. Welcome to Mark's IT for all your not too hard to fix IT jobs. Black markets. Squish speaking in steakhouse out back. What was that last bit? Oh, uh, nothing. Just my pleasantries acting up. Mostly working TV? No. Well, hold on now, detective. In what way is it only mostly working? Well, everything works set the power switch. How much? No, not the time. What's that? Soviet tech? Uh, like the look of that? It's on special offer today. What's the offer? It's you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours kind of thing. Go on. Well, I can see you're wearing a TLTV visitor's badge, and I saw you on TV earlier advertising something sad. Anyway, I want TV time like that for my business, so I record, so I record an advert. You use your media connections and give me that aired... And the unsuspicious foreign tech is yours. I'll see what I can do. Cool, now, whereabouts on <laughs> on the back do you want to be scratched? I need the lower back done, please. Uh, it's been annoying me for ages and my arm just can't reach. I'm good. V VHS, oh, lovely. Excuse me, is this the way to your black market? Well, that depends whether you know the password or not. Password? Oh, you don't know it? Welcome, friend. And you go and enjoy yourself. And remember, no cops. It's the law. Should we not say that our first name is M Detective? Oh, it's him again. Well, this is it, Detective. The Twin Lakes Black Market. Hmm. Expected more. Make a wish. I wish I was the wish giver. Careful, kid. Quiet your fleshy word hole, Zolot is about to dispense some powerful wisdom. Brown is not a good color for you. Ouch, why does everyone insult the coat? You again, Wang! Uh, you! I thought we'd warn this place against people like you, by which I mean you. Only you. Uh, what are misfortune cookies? Cookies for a more pessimistic putter. Best eaten well, with a glass of milk that's half empty. What happened to your shop? Burned down mysteriously after you visited, but coincidentally, before the cops you sent to search the place had arrived. The universe is pretty random, right? Mm hmm. Yes, we are, and I'm damn good at it. The king! I thought that was your sorry ass. Hey, the transceiver, you brought it. What did you pay for it? Also, give it to me. No way, please don't have any power here. The black market is like not neutral territory. That's definitely not true. I'm pretty sure it is. That is neutral territory, but neutral in the sense that it's pro-me and anti-you. Okay, what do you want for it then? Who sold you a transceiver and what did they want it for? Not saying what kind of black market a cold dealer would I be if I rat on every person buying curses, voodoo dolls, or flying cauldrons. My business would crumble if people thought there was no confidentiality. Was it a guy dressed as a builder? What? What's a builder? What is up with Gary? He was suspicious in the last game, and now he's suspicious again. I need that transceiver. What's it worth? 
Nothing, I'm confiscating you. Police business. Ah, uh, you can't. Your division was closed down. You don't have any power to take things just because they look spooky anymore. Yeah, I'll be sure to let you know if it goes above the speed limit, though. Where'd you hear that? I move in certain circles, talk to certain people. I'm con I'm a connected man. <laughs> King? What do I need to do to get it, then? Hmm. Oh, I know. It's sinister cackle. Oh, I mean, sinister cackle. My business is suffering because another cookie factory down the road put them out of business and the and the thingy is yours. Think of Dooley, detective. I'll see what I can do. Oh, you want me to put a fucking fortune cookie factory out of business? And McKang! Well, look who it is. Detective McNo, partner. You know this is all illegal, right? That's why it's called the black market. God, you're such a dork for the law. You should marry the law. Marry it and have a little legal babies. What? Also, you're a cop. What are you even doing here? Best cookies in the city are down there to the right. They're so good, they're always a cue for them. Unless you're a badass cop who confiscates nerds' cookies. I really hate you. That's not sinister. A sinister looking sign. This must be a shop when one's closed down. Key. Okay. Warden bucket. Second hand hands that run like new. Our, de our dedicated neurologist works the graveyard shift to meet your needs organically. Okay. You next, Sonny. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. I wish you could buy the lot. Well, I sure as heck ain't gonna stop you. Uh, I mean, I wish I could afford to. I have fixed assets, don't you know? A car, house, family, stuff you can sell. Oh, uh, I can't sell that stuff. She's laced it with cocaine, hasn't she? Or PVC, or something like that. She's laced it with something, hasn't she? As you said this, does any of that stuff make you feel as good as our delicious, freshly brained biscuits? Brined biscuits? What? Oh gosh, you have me there. Something seems off here. Very. No free samples, I'm afraid. Why, well, y'all are gonna have to join the queue like any other Id uh, idiosyncratic customer. Uh huh. Blue hang? Hear that? Next batch is almost ready. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. Metzlin, there's no room for potty mounts under the sea. Oh, what are you looking at? A chump like you who can't control where he's snooping don't deserve eyes? Uh, what? You're a quiet one. Mama said I never talked to a policeman. Mama Harbord said in... What the f... In... 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 in, in, in oh, Jesus Christ, that's a mouthful institutionalized sexism but I think deep down she meant never talk to the police what the sweet Jesus one more step button I'll play you like an accordion it's a new one look look you see girls a bona fide man of the law what can we do for you detective oh nothing just browsing browsing is cop for snooping now, now, Michelin, uh, why I'm sure the nice man and his lost friend have the very best of intentions. I'm not lost. Oh, I don't know about that, honey. You look like you need some discipline in your life, some guidance. Why, you should consider joining the Sea Hags and giving yourself over to the Deep Mother. The Deep Mother? That sounds like a euthanism. Why, she's the metaphorical goddess in all of us. And, of course, the very real goddess deep in, the, deep in the ocean, waiting for the sea levels to rise and drown the land folk who forsook her. Soon may she rise, soon may she rise, soon may she rise. I might pass, thanks. So it's Cthulhu with titties. Okay. Let's go to the auction house then, see if we can get something here. Here we go, vendor. Uh, moldy sandwiches, happy and hot dogs, rock hard por- Port grind to get all your festering food needs met here. That is a safety hazard. Twin Lakes finest purveyor of gone off food is that thing. Thing people want. People at auction houses like old things. Why not old food? I serve. 
a gourmet food source locally from the bins of Twin Lakes finest restaurants is at a fraction of the price. Here, take some stale pizza crust on the house. Uh, thanks? Well, that's gonna get us somewhere with the goblins. Okay, let's head back to Scrapyard real quick then. Hey, you little idiots hungry? I think feeding them here will help us get the crane offline. Well, let's give it a try then. Oh, goblins! They should lure the gremlins out here then. Oh, crap. Now to figure a way to grab those wires. Not so fast! Oh, you son of a- That's cheating! Get those back! Nah, -uh, I'm sick of those boys breaking my machines. You want these wires? You need to find me some stronger tech to power all this. Now we need to go get that freaking Soviet thing online. Open console? Hey! One joy child. Yeah, like the dream broken dreams of children. Great tunes though, if you don't find a use for it, I'm taking it and taking it as a shower radio. Can I join you? I haven't hit on Roxanne much, have I? Let's go back to the auction house then see we made some progress in here. So how much for this for Forbrin acorn? Let me see. Wow, the coloring, the fine detail, the... Wait a second. It's fake! It has the wrong number of scales painted on the cupola. Oh, I can fix that. Not a problem. I'll just add a few more. There's already too many. Yep, yep, of course. Remove a few. I hear ya. But I know it's a fake now. I'm not buying a fake, even if it looks good. Ah, oh, lady, you're killing me here. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Very fair. Can't buy from me, I gotcha. Now my uh, twin, identical on all ways, bar except he's got a fake or uh, real mustache. Can I have you buy it from him? Please leave. Uh, what a load of rubbish into the trash with this. I'll take that. Just going to tr ash that, might as well take it. Do you always take stuff from trash? Oh yes, most of it's not even useful. I have a lot of broken light bulbs, chewed gum, and old receipts in here. Oh, I'm banned from all the good dry cleaners. Fake Ebershay Acorn. What could I need that for? Oh, God, that's us. Phone book. Looks like the book we need as the confused scribbles of a dark side artifact. There's no way I can just take that thing, all the security. Guess I need to find something to swap with it. A few pages would be enough. Hello. You're looking fine. Uh, there's things that people will try to sell you as if you were some kind of pawn shop. Some guy tried to sell me a homemade clay urn with strange markings. McKing! Damn it, McKing! Another tried to give me a slimy computer saying it belonged to a lake monster. Dooley! Damn it, Dooley! And another tried to sell a bald cap and fringle... Fangle beard saying it was from another dimension. McCain... McQueen? Damn it, me! Oh, I spent too much time with this game. I know who's done what. Oh my god. Uh, sure. Another one look at the auction isn't happening until the, the auction is back. Auction is back. Back from what? Now, no. I think he went to one of the piers to get cookies or some equal rubbish and is an irresponsible. Okay. So the auctioneer is currently at the cookie place, so we're gonna have to get that shut down. Somehow. Tiamer. Oh my god, I'm gonna be late, late, late. Oh, you're the auctioneer. But do I care? I do not. I want those cookies. I want them bad. Oh god, what did she lace them with?
Usually they're set in one place, but the budget on the first case to impress. We blew the budget on the first case to impress the audience. It's all downhill from here. Case four set in a kitchen cupboard. Oh my god, I would love it. I would love it if it is. Ooh, alleyway. Okay, I think I'm making progress. Good time, Charlie. Well, hey there, little fella. Are you looking for a good time? Uh, the name's Charl, and I like hanging out. So want to go skydiving and invite your old pal, Charl? Need a buddy for a dangerous climb? Then Charl's your man. Want to race down the wrong side of the highway and stare death in the eyes? Charl is in. So, want to do something? We can't. We're in the middle of something. Sorry. Oh man, nobody wants to hang with old Charl. I'm so bored. I wish I had something to do for fun while I at least wait for somebody to want to hang with me. How about this? Would you would this help with your boredom? Well gosh, I'm my thankful little fella, but I'm not sure what fun there is to be had in in a broken console. Hmm. We move this we've been. Get in, let's do it. Uh-huh. It's too heavy for just two of us. Can you fix this? Hmm. Looks like the discombobulator has been shaken loose. Just had to here you go. Thanks. Much for the repair. It's free to an old timer like you. I like to do charity work for the elderly. So, you know, when it's my time to join the ranks, they vote me in. Vote you in? Yep, you yeah, have retirement age, and either they accept you or you're Logan Rudds, anyways. <laughs> Put in a good word for me, okay? I'm not that. You, you know what? Thanks. Yeah, don't, don't question it. So now the joy child is working. We can give it to the big guy in the alleyway. Maybe you'll move the thing for us. Here, take this. This should keep you entertained until something better comes along. Woo wee, this chipper wee fella. How uh, can I repay you? You could help us move this bin. Uh, consider it done in about four seconds when it's actually done. Thank you. Hey, Charles. No, thank you. This tiny device should keep me entertained until somebody finds my number on the bathroom wall and calls me for a good time. Yeah, don't question it. Should be able to wriggle through. I'll stay out here and keep watch. Well, that's a better excuse than do we usually get. <laughs> that's not an excuse for being helpful. Hmm, suspicious. Ignore your partner's not helpful. What the hell is going on here? I'm no pastrier, but I don't think this is how cookies are normally made. Two cans? It's like these. They look like blood birds. I think they're. Reaching beautiful tunes at one another and then producing cookies. It seems to be full of some liquid that's coming from the pipes above. What the hell? Let's see, we fair maidens, give ourselves ocean, blah blah blah. It was a dark day, blah blah blah. I see level, take us all, Cthulhu titties, took cookies for good deeds, see as blah blah blah. Hmm. They're pumping them out at, at a pretty high rate of volume. Yeah. Hmm. It's cookies. Should take some back to the folks in the forensics lab. I say, knowing we have no forensics lab. And you're not a cop anymore. Easy escape routes. Shop. Ah, our secret laboratory is working so well. We're going to be... It kill what I love it so much I would literally eat anyone who found out about it I probably shouldn't go that way yeah um can I poison this well, I have a cookie maybe I can get the one guy out of line you want a cookie are these what you're looking for oh sweet divine how would you get these uh, do what you want to do what do you want for them I have to hang up some paintings. Could I borrow your tiny hammer? I shouldn't give this out, but I have a powerful need for cookies. Sure thing. Just don't go pretending to be an auctioneer or something. You'll have to find yourself in over your head. Seed auction gavel. Okay, so now we can make progress in that line. Oh, it's all about finding bits and pieces, bits and pieces, bits and bloody fucking pieces. 
Let me through or I'm gonna plunge this through your skull. What's this? The auctioneer hammer. My auctioneer hammer. Yours. Mine. I've the coats, the hammer, the fast talking skills needed to trick you and pull off an auction despite no prior experience. I'm the guy. I can't say I'm entirely convinced, but there are old things to sell and rich people to appease. If we don't help them get rid of their money soon, they'll get money poisoning and start doing mad rich people things like hunting the poor, doing unwanted misery work, or worse, becoming landlords. We're doing God's work. Oh, every word of that. Hey. Soviet manual? What? Old Soviet tech, it says you only need two insulation tools, a hammer and a sickle. I have to imagine that a screwdriver would be a ha be handy too. Why do we need a Soviet manual? You should take it. What? Take it! When are we gonna get into a place like this again? Don't you want a souvenir? So on cold nights when you mend old socks? Hey! You can look at this and think, I've seen how the other half lives. That's not the most inspiring call to commit a petty crime, but something tells me this will come in useful later, so you get your wish. Yay! At least until I find a use for it, then I'm sending it back here. Wait, you're not just dropping all that stuff on the ground after you use it. What? No, that's littering. I send it back to whoever it comes from. That's as noble as it is lame. Thanks? God, you're more insulting than Dooley was. Never ending jar. Oh, this is in the back room and not on sale? Well, by the smell of it, whatever whatever it never empties is both useless and disgusting. Ugh. Uh, you want this? Can you get this in, get this into Marv for me to get it on air? Sure thing, I'm just gonna put it right here in the inbox basket. Prick. You again. I'll bring more kids. Damn. Did you just drop my tape in the bin? No, that's my filing system. If you look closer, you'll see I found my broken heart in there too. After those kids chased the delivery woman away. Okay. Right into my arms. You're gonna see her wearing my coat tomorrow morning, you fuck. Hmm. What the? Uh, hello? That man has no pass on your videotape. But I'll help you. Where's your handler gone? She was no my handler, she was my date, but now I have a job posed of her. I sent her home with the cab fare, and I am the gentleman squirrel, no? Why are you still here? What do you want? Why do you want to help me? These ulti you ultimate me using Z make me count like Z performing monkey. I steal back your videotape and make you in Z control room. Fairly Viva the resistance! Oh, yeah, the tape's gone. What the sweet Jesus, the squirrel's German. Knock knock. Come in. Hey, Marv. Squirrel. So, uh, how are things, Marv? Things are adequate, thanks for asking. You have, a uh, time to talk? Oh no, gotta edit down this morning's show. Station manager wants more fun squirrel and less sad policeman. Sorry. I hate you all. Nice acorn collection. Thanks, I've been gathering them for a while now. They're my prey and joy. I keep them locked away in a very secure display case and never open. Safe to add... Safe to... I, that I never opened. Safe to add new acorns. Like this acorn? What do you think of this acorn? How many scales are painted on it? Uh, uh, 14. Not interested. So, real fabs acorns only have 13. Thanks, though. Uh, solvent? Old can solvent. Yeah, I know. Couldn't remove that extra skill if he drawn this. And do it right in front of him. A real Fabrice egg. Hmm, 11, 12, 13. This is perfect. Where'd you find it? I uh, found it in an antique on a case. Uh, want it? Uh, sure, I'll just unlock my cabinet and put it in right now. Yeah, now is my time. 
This why does the squirrel have gas? <laughs> what the Oh no, Marv, that squirrel, he robbed your acorn collection. I had no idea. Relax, detective, I recognize him the moment he turned up for um, for filming today. What? You don't collect Fabris You don't collect uh, Fabris acorns and not know who Merle the squirrel is. He's a ma master squirrel burglar. As soon as I saw him this morning, I knew there w he was here for the cursed acorn I had just picked up. I had had that fast to ring my brother-in-law, a shady guy named Pete. I know him. Do we? His kid came over with some friends, and while they ch caused a scene, I slipped her the acorn to get it off sight. Damn it, Emily. They met up when she was safely away from here. Her dad made the acorn look fake and tried to sell it to auction house, which I happened to know Mirror was casing. So he'd known there was a fake on the scene? Precisely. So when you showed up, he took the he took all the fake locked away acorns and ignore the real one that I had. Bingo. By the time he realizes what happened, it will be too late. I'll have gotten this thing away to safety. That is beyond overcomplicated. I knew that. After all, he didn't even put the tape on. Put that on air. I uh, could just put that on for you. You do that for me? We went to school together. Of course I would. Aw, thanks. Also, it's public, a public access. We kind of have to show any crap given to us. I didn't even need to go through all that difficulty. I got tear gassed by a freaking squirrel. That's a new one. Okay, go to Pure 13. We can get the Soviet engine. Your ad's up. Oh, there I am on the TV. Quickly, take this so we can so I can watch myself. How does this work? What even is it? Where can I find the instructions? No idea. It's old tech. Almost old enough to be in a museum. Or like, now hush, I'm on TV. I already got the thing to make it work. So not sure what I gotta do with the other place. Cr crushing machinery. Don't find Dooley that way. No? You want this? Find something for you. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Come up to the door and show me. Okay. Add stuff you want. New technology instructions on how to install it. Okay, okay, you can come in. Here you go. Super, here are your wires, comrade. What did you call me? A uh, constable. Hmm. Tangled wires, nice. Full panel. Hands off, survive breakers only. Okay. These have some markings to the pages I need to replace. Mind if I take them? Why not? I have piles of that stuff. See gremlin art. Oh god. Well, that's progress. So this is the pages I need. I got the wires. A wild ball wires. The ones we need are in here somewhere. I just see a way to sort through them. Like a loom? I think that might be able to use loom to unravel these wires. Worst case, we can play a fancy tune. Looms are a weaving tool, not an instrument. Tell that to the bobbin th thread bar. Thread bar? Oh, what the sweet Jesus. Uh, I don't want to do this now because if I do this now, they're just going to get retangled in our pocket. We just got to make the wires between the free nodes to untangle them so they're usable. Some parts of this adventure are less thrilling than others. Shut the hell up. Show you less thrilling. There we go. That's them unraveled. You know what to do next, my... Uh, now I know what to do next so my headphones get wrapped up. Untangled wires. And that's another item dealt with. Hey, you know what? Even if it's unnecessary directly forward what I need to do, it's some kind of progress. So I got the wires. Don't got the receiver yet because I still need to figure out how to shut down the cookie place. 
I can at least get the pages. Too new looking. Need to age them up somehow. This? Drink Collins Train Do. Hmm. I could use these. And I could use a nice memory of home, but that won't the but we don't all get what we want. What does home mind you of the papers? Listen, if you if you want a nice butt to mall, I don't have one. Roxanne, you wanna offer yourself up? Why why would you offer this delicious looking honey stone to me? A normal person with no strong affinity towards honey. I want those birds. I mean, I guess I can take it as payment, but only because it's nice looking stone, I can't eat a stone. Believe me, I tried. A uh, sweet and soft golden honey stone. Bring back uh, entirely bear free memories of my youth. Okay, got some birds. Two soulless robotic birds. So, what, replace the friggin' lovebirds with these? I, didn't, I don't think these birds would pass for the real ones. I need to cover the metal coating first. Uh, otherwise, the hags will notice the swap before it takes effect. Okay. Um. Oh god, my brain's fried. What the hell could I do to change them up? Makeup? What a colorful range of makeup. Can we use it on the birds? Stop of this, a dash of that, and we'll add the bots looking real in no time. See, painted birds. Oh, dear Christ. Uh, you definitely failed art in uh, middle school, didn't ya? Yeah. That's a hard one to fail, though, considering art's subjective. So, if you manage to fail it, well, yeah, I can imagine you would be the first person to fail art. My brain's fried, okay? I'm painting robotic lovebirds to replace them with the real ones that are somehow related to the production of cookies that are like cocaine. Okay, be free, you little lovebirds, and you go robotic doubles. Oi. Okay. Set back up front then. What happened? Uh, how are the cookies? Oh lord, it's like eating emb- Embrition. The nectar, the- of the goods in my mouth is in my mouth, so I'm so happy. Okay. Uh, Miss Wampus? Yes, Mission. Is something ain't right with the Dutch oven. All the cookies, they've gone green. Oh, no, oh, no. Hello. Detective, I want to report a, uh, I'm not sure, some kind of sabotage. Okay. But the cop did it. What? Me? I would... I never, not this time, not this me, that's for sure. Look, he's having a guilty stroke. Am I? I'm heartbroken, I nursed each cookie like it was baked in my own oven at home. <sighs> Cookies have freed up if you're still looking. Hard pass. Oh, drats it all to hell. Oh, okay, yeah, now I remember I needed to shut that down. Uh... Can I entrance here? I did the thing. I can see everyone so miserable. That's my target audience. Though, so sales are through the roof. Oh, cheer up. You frown is ruin. Running. Ruining? It's ruining? Yeah, just ruining. General ruiner. I hate it. Smile or GTFO. But try frowning otherwhere. For what it's worth, detective, what, what those kids were, were at is far worse than this. I guess. Anyway, a deal's a deal. Here's your transceiver. Enjoy transceiving. There we go. God, I'm starting to question whether or not Dewey's worth all this effort. That could work. Uh, if we drink this in here, the, it, that it should be so brown and curl the pages so that they look nice and old. There we go. Okay, that works. Oh, my brain's fried. I'm just having to try everything. What the fuck? Is this worth it? I know Dooley's like Dooley and all, but like, is this worth it? Is he worth it? Okay, let's kick this sloppy robbery. 
What? You heard nothing, Onondo. Nothing? Auction time. Welcome, minis and outies. Today we have this fine antique occult book for sigils, or whatever you all think it that it is. Again, I get an opening bid. What's a good opening bid? Five. Can I get five? Roxy, swap the pages while I carry this on. On it. Yes, five. Five hundred. Five hundred. Five. Five. Uh, six. Uh, you can't go backwards. That's a rule, right? Uh, no, six hundred. Christ. Okay, okay. Pull it together, me. Right, I have 600. I won 700. Can I get 700? Any bids of 700? Hey, I or eight? I. I'm done, detective. So to the woman with the expressionless face for I. What? That's nonsense. That's not how this works. I'm not even sure how much I owe. You lot get rowdy. I you lot getting rowdy. Do I need to use my gun? Oh Jesus Christ! And I thought I used pr police brutality. Who annoys us? Still don't know what I owe. See the phone book pages. It worked. Good job. Let's get out of here. What about all the other auctions you have to do today? I I quit. Bye. And we got the other cult pages. I think. What do we need? We need a transceiver. We need wires for the power, and we need pages to actually use it all. Let's do this, Dooley. I'm coming for you, buddy. X wires. Oh, stick them in anywhere. You can move them around. In the mini game, I mean later. Oh, game, I love you to death. Sport, here's transceiver. I don't know what that does. Science, food, pseudoscience, one of those. Doesn't work without it, though. Brains completely fried, and the pages. Got these. Super, those symbols are like phone numbers. We'll have to work through them until we get through to your friend. Fun. That's everything. Time to try and call Dooley. Oh, what in this? Now what do I do? And see those sharp shapes? They're numbers, like phone numbers. So start, uh, what's it? What? That's it? If he's not the one of the numbers I have? You're thinking too normal. He'll be at one of them. How can you be so sure? I peeked at the design document for this case, so trust me. Okay, here goes. Pardon? Do that. Make a bit of a smiley face and... Dooley? You darling. Excuse me, is this the... Is this... Is there a man in a police uniform there? Yeah, of course. An army man, biker, construction worker, cowboy, and a Native American man. I don't think this is the right number. This is always the right number, darling. That looks about right. What's all this then? Hey, Ghouli! Chief Ghouli? McQueen? What is it that you are calling me out of ours then? I think I have a lead on Dooley, a way to bring him back through. Whoa, 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 whatever you're up to, if it's not through legitimate channels, then you had best not get me involved. Right, well, then I guess I'll let you know how it goes. Best luck then, off you up. Oh, Ghouli, you lovely bastard. Couldn't you just make a man hunt up for Dooley? Make my job a lot easier. Don't call that signal. Hello? Uh, how did you know who this was, Rexa? Oh, hello. Hello, who's there? Hang up, detective. Wrong number, sorry. Alright, uh, bye. How did you know she's as... Let's try the next signal, shall we? Rexa? Listen, sweetie, I'm okay with whatever dark side shenanigans you get up to with your other self, but honestly, right now I'm more concerned about Dooley, especially with how much work I put in to get this bastard back. Hello? Dooley! Finally! Dooley! D Detective, is that you? Yes, Dooley, it's me. Where are you? I hear music. I'm not sure, everything is different here. It's so cold. Oh, Dooley. And it's my own fault. I should have worn a jacket. Tell me what you see, Dooley, and we'll get you home. Well, I can't see any water from here, so I guess I'm inland a bit. Uh, sorry, Detective Geography here is a little... is up. Dooley? I can see, uh, there's a... Uh, me? Dooley, you're breaking up. 
Uh, and hear you in for me soon. Damn. Dooley? Dooley? He's gone, detective. Oh. I took down everything he said. Maybe we can use that to find him? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I have a map of the city in my apartment we can use. Let's go. I'm coming with. Now you want to come with? Oh, yes. Now it's getting interesting. Dooley's clues. Oh, come on. Here we are, back home. Okay, let's get to work. I really wish it was just me and Rexa. Yeah. So what's the plan? Well, I found a ritual that can that can get him back if I know where he is. We have the clues. We just have to figure out where and gra gather the ritual components. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Oh, uh, what does that mean? Back of Dewey's old clothes that I grabbed from his gym locker. Gonna need these. Okay. How do you manage to kill a fake plant? Oh, you'd be surprised, lady. Oh, I have chalk in my pocket for the ritual. See chalk? You're out there somewhere, buddy. And I know... And... And we're gonna find you. Candles? Gonna need these for the ritual? Do we need a sacrifice? Meow! Hey there, PD. It's not feeding time yet. PD? Like, police department? That's the one. I sense you're lying. PD stands for placeholder Dooley. <laughs> I to told you I was psychic. Meow. <laughs> Various things I managed to take from the Dark Side Division before Chief Scully had it all sealed up. I Is that a copy of Ripley's Casted or not? It is. It's where I found the ritual that will bring Dooley back. How does it work? Well, Dark Side portals are usually anchor are usually anchored. The portal from here will always go to the same place in the dark side. Usually, but not always, the here locations mirror there. But the ritual, but this ritual, it opens more of a vacuum than a portal. You point it out of place, give it a signature to lock onto, and it sucks them back. Great, fine. Now let's figure out where he is and cast it. Yeah. It's gonna, it's going to work, detective. Thanks. I'm genuinely concerned for Dewey's safety, considering this is what we have to work with. Okay, let's try it. Right, let's cross-reference what Dewey said with my map and see if we can locate him. What the hell? This is all the info I have on the city. I just have to find some place that matches what I know about where Dewey was. We have three clues. If we cross-reference them with all, with all this here, we should find him. Yeah, so instead you should do it. We'll scratch off everywhere he isn't and see what's left. Easy. Uh... Is it? On Dewey's schedule, known portal here. I know I'm sort of guessing at this point, but I've been recording for two hours. I didn't expect this one to be so long. The carnival? It's the only odd man out. No? That matches! I think we found him. He's at the laundromat? He's outside this building. He's been he's been waiting outside for me to find him. Well, you found him, now let's go get him back. Yeah. To the roof! What? What are we going to the roof for? This will do, we can perform the ritual here. Okay. Oh, chalk. Draw this here. The, it goes there. And 12, voila. Oh, it's working. Place these here. Have a lighter. Great. Why do you have a lighter? And then Julie's stuff. Come on, Dooley. Put the bag here. It's everything. Now let's see what happens. The wind's picking up. I can tell. It's a lot of psychic energy, and I'm not even making that up this time. I think it's working. Dooley? Dooley! Detective? It worked. Does anyone have something to eat? I'm starving. It's definitely worked. Dooley! What was it like? Nobody has ever spent that long over there before. 
It was fine, hard to get around, terrible public transport. Trains are always on time, so I kept missing them. What? Uh, no. Why am I saying what? That's not surprising out of you. I'm just glad to be home. Thanks, detective. I knew you'd find a way. Thanks. Sorry it took so long. Oh, ha, ha. Detective? Yeah? What's a prawn... Prawn folder? What do you mean? Meanwhile... Uh, guys? Sorry! We left the doorway open. You answer the call. Missing presumed dark side. And that is duly back. Well, I think that is gonna do for right now. That is one hell of a way to start off the series. We got duly back, and we seem to have unleashed an ancient tentacle monster that has now eaten a pigeon. Sorry. I have a bad habit of doing that. Fixing one problem and creating like 20 more. Either way, that's Dark Side Detective. That's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed this. I enjoy this game. I love everything about it. I'm glad to be back to it. I don't know how often I'm gonna do these. I don't know how long these are gonna end up being. That one was two hours long. I've never had one of these be that long before. You know, so I don't know. Either way, right now, hope you all enjoyed this episode of The Dark Side Detective A Fumble in the Dark. If, right? I think so, yeah. If you enjoyed, think about clicking the playlist on the end screen and or down in the description to check out the rest of the episodes as they release. And, other than that, Think about leaving a like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and that be good, be well, and I'll see all of you in the next one. My brain is completely fried. Goodbye.